everyone welcome to another video by me bluegrass fairy today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i really wanted to draw fairy wings inspired by things in nature such as flower water grass leaves wind all that kind of stuff so today is going to be sort of like a speed paint but if you wanted to draw along with me you are welcome to this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial but you will get to see how i draw different types of fairy wings and I will give you tips on what I've learned in the past on how to draw wings. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So first off today, I'm just going to show you how I normally draw fairy wings, how I basically do it, and what the basic shapes are that I use. But today, I'm just going to show you how I draw wings that reflect butterfly wings and also basic uh, fairy wing. So on this side, I'm going to draw the basic fairy wing. And on this side, I'm going to draw the basic fairy wing that reflects butterfly wings. So here, I like to start off with an oval with a pointed shape at the end. Kind of curve down, make it wider at the bottom and then come down from about right here and make the same shape but then curl it up at the end. And then I like to add different designs. So I just go up and then swirl down. like a leaf shape. And then bottom, I always make the bottom more simple than the top, just a personal preference. And that is the basic fairy wing shape. Now I will do the butterfly shape. So today I'm gonna sketch out The design of a butterfly wing is very unique. There is a certain pattern that looks more like a butterfly wing, which is what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start from the bottom and come up and then I'm going to loop down and meet myself there. Very basic design of a butterfly wing. Uh, you can, when coloring it, make little white shapes or black shapes with a white edge. I usually shade this in so that this part's black. And that's basic butterfly wing shape at the top. Now we're going to go down to the bottom and do virtually the same thing. Just like that, very basic, very straightforward. You just kind of make little loopy shapes and you'll get the idea of it. The next wing I'm going to do here, um, I've had this picture in my brain for a while and I just wanted to get it out on paper. This wing is inspired by water. It's very flowy, it's very like curvy and liquidy looking. So I'm gonna do that and you may follow along, but this will be a speed paint portion.
this is the finished product for the water fairy wing. I wanted to imitate like droplets and stuff and I just made it super curvy and flowy. I hope you enjoy. Make sure to comment down below which fairy wing is your favorite. Okay, next we're going to do fairy wing inspired by autumn leaves. Okay, and this is the fairy wing inspired by autumn leaves. It's very spiky and sectioned out like the veins of a leaf. This one was really fun. It was really fast and simple, but I did really enjoy making this one. Alrighty, this is the fairy wing that is inspired by grass. It's got lots of little pointies and different variations of shading. I this kind of resembled the grass seed, kind of with the little seeds at the top. Sometimes I like adding that where there's just one thing just kind of like flying out. Um, I think it looks really cute and adds a little bit more character to the fairy. Also, I made it very perky, like grass kind of sticks straight up, and so this, instead of flowing down, goes straight up, 